Hey everyone, this one goes over a lot of ground, like how Citadel is stuck in big AMC shorts and how institutions now want AMC to squeeze. Make sure you watch it all the way through. First, let us bust some lies online magazine Barron's Barron said that the Swiss National Bank had reduced its stake in AMC, but 13F reports show that this is not true. They have clearly bought more than 188,000 shares of AMC. What's new is that things are now getting interesting. The news story says that the Swiss National Bank has lowered its stakes in Tesla, AMC Entertainment Holdings, and many other companies. The most interesting part of this story is how it talks about how the bank has made cuts to the number of U.S. trading stocks it holds. To begin, this shows that AMC is a well-known business. You may have also noticed that AMC always comes first when a company is talked about in terms of lowering its place. In fact, AMC was talked about before Apple, Nvidia, and Tesla, which are some of the biggest stocks in the world. This trend only continues when bad news about the sale of a certain stock comes out. In that case, AMC is brought up again. This is because AMC wants small owners to get rid of their shares. We know this because, as you can see from the most recent report from the Swiss National Bank, they haven't actually sold their AMC shares instead, they've bought 188,000 more. You can also see how they have always put AMC first when bad things happen. When I first saw these news stories, I was interested in why the Swiss National Bank was trying to lower its AMC position. We already knew that they were trying to hedge this position, but now that we know this is fake news, it's more important to talk about it later. The situation with UBS and Follow the Money are two of the most important things we've talked about lately. Two Swiss banks, Swiss and UBS, merged on June 23rd after losing a lot of money when Aero's capital management loan went bad. SWI sold more than $3.75 billion in bonds in August 2021 to make up for their loses. Other banks that were involved in Art Go Eras, like Nora, Goldman Sachs, and Morgan Stanley, were able to sell their shares before the fire sale, which limited their risk. Because of this, we already knew that Credit Suisse had to sell more than $3.75 billion in bonds to cover the investments. Also, we knew that Bill H. Co. S. lost more than $20 billion. Remember that one of his biggest investments was in Jay, who got involved in the meme stock saga and lost a lot of money by shorting the stocks. This caused Credit Suisse a lot of problems, and the company was eventually merged with UBS. Still, we knew some of the biggest things that were going to happen, like when we got almost $1 trillion in swaps filed back to Memo Stansard on December 15th. Again, this is a huge, huge deal, and we can see this change coming. We can see that UBS is still having a hard time as they talk about cash problems and their need for a private buyer. This makes the whole problem seem even bigger. It gets even more interesting, though, because we already talked about the reverse repo, which saw a $65 billion drop. This is because UBS does not have enough money to use RRP, which is causing a huge drop in liquidity. We are also going over our first conversation about how F Swiss banks are cutting AMC again. The most important piece of news is that we talked about how Credit Suisse needed to sell $3.75 billion in debt to cover their losses, but they didn't talk about how they needed to sell their bonds to make up for the losses. The union is the most important thing I want to talk about quickly. The Swiss government and the Swiss financial market helped make the all-stock deal between UBS Group and Credit Suisse so that Credit Suisse could be bought for 3 billion francs, or $3.2 billion. The Swiss National Bank backed the deal by giving UBS over $104 billion in cash after it took over the Credit R business. First, the fact that I had to give them more than $14 billion shows how bad things were they needed more than $104 billion to make sure they could keep running properly. Another thing we can say for sure is that $104 billion was clearly not enough for UBS to keep running DOT since they are running out of cash and look like they are having cash flow problems. It is clear that they need a private buyer. Again, this makes things clearer, since they needed more than $100 billion from the Swiss National Bank, which wasn't enough. But since they're talking about the Swiss National Bank, they know how big the swaps are. As we've already talked about, the total value is more than 999 billion francs. In this new story, it is said that they are selling AMC, which I found strange at first because, again, why would they be selling when they know how important and risky the idea is? But it makes sense that they are trying to buy AMC now that they know they need it to protect their roles. And it seemingly look like to me right now what they're trying to do is again give false information to allow retail investors to obviously sell their AMC shares, but then the Swiss national banks themselves obviously go into the market and buy shares because they understand that the real shares of the AMC are held by retail investors like you and me, and if they want to increase their positions if they want to buy more and purchase more of AMC shares. 
They obviously want real shares, which again will only be obtainable if the retail investors of AMC actually sell their shares. And that's why in the article where we see them talk about selling positions, AMC is ranked first above Apple, NVIDIA, and T, and T, and Tesla, which I think is just ridiculous, but... Then, then when we actually dive deep and understand what's going on is because they want you to sell your shares because they need to buy them shares to obviously hedge for this positions right now. What we can see potentially is institutions want AMC to squeeze more than retail investors want AMC to squeeze because they understand the dire situation of if AMC were to squeeze how big of a loss they will be in because obviously even $104 billion in liquidity wasn't enough for UBS to continue operating and if AMC were to squeeze obviously UBS would go bankrupt. And the only way for them to recover this is by hedging into positions by again also them profiting from AMC squeeze to try and make sure that UBS or whatever can of course stay afloat and they don't lose massively again like we've always said the shorts are trapped in AMC the only way for them to get out is for AMC to go bankrupt and we know that's not happening so every day they are spending millions if not billions of dollars trying to suppress the price of AMC but when we take a look at again another firm which is of course in this set out how they're training AMC shots what we can see. Here is from the financial server when the dots connect they effing connect every ape exposed this short and should call and demand every token as AMC shares it accounted for um and reverted back into the price of AMC. When apes used to say 100k I used to think that was a bit out of reach but this is huge and with this 100k a share is justice at this point. And now what we see right now is again just all the um links added in together. So firstly what we have is of course the bankruptcy as we see that's S Bankman Free LA had access to a $65 billion credit line from FTX. Now what's coincidental is that Cadell also have a massive liability of $65 billions. In securities sold not yet purchased at fair value at one point, we did have FTX's tokenized AMC shares. They said they had real stocks backing them up one to one. That's why this link is being made. Now we have a business that stole AMC stocks and now owes over $65 billion. This company has a holding of $65 um billion in securities that have not yet been bought. It is one of the biggest short sellers of AMC stocks. How much we're really worth one thing we can all agree on is that these companies are huge, massive, you name it. As was already said, they can only leave if AMC fails, which is not going to happen. Because of this, Sovereign, these companies will be at the front of the line when AMC does squeeze. As you can see, there are a lot of big banks. They hide a bigger threat to the whole system. Losses that haven't been paid out yet are the biggest threat to banks. We've already talked about how other banks like Bank of America and Citigroup are losing a lot of money right now. Remember that these banks lend money to hedge funds, institutions, and short sellers so they can use their assets as collateral for loans and take too many risks with their AMC shorts. To be clear, if the clear, if the collateral for these loans goes down in value, they will not have any money. If the bank loans run out, the same thing will happen. When those people have to close out their short bets, they will lose everything. I am very interested in the news that will be broadcast this week. Even better, we should be ready for the deals to end on December 15th. That's all for now. I'll talk to you soon.